Shalom, shalom. I'm going to start by giving my praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahushai. Ba'ashem Kakadash. My name is Brother Napak from the Camp Prophets of Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. We get the bonus to elders and apostles of great millstone. Peace and blessings to the old for a light. And um, basically, I just want to get into a short, quick class on Deuteronomy 28. You know, because I haven't really been in it, got into it in a minute. You know, it's just a little milk for the um, new brethren that's out there. You know, and I'm just going to, you know, skim through on, uh, you know, because I, if I read this whole thing, you know, it's going to be at least like an hour or something, you know, but just to get the the, the basis of it, the gist of it, this is um, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. It says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations. On the earth, of the earth, you know what I'm saying. And this is it was saying, uh, if you hearken and you did, you, 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 you obeyed the Lord's commandments, his law, statutes, commandments, and not disobey him, you know, and then go off the way we went off, that um, he will set us on high, you know, above all nations of the earth, man. You know, that's what the law. Uh, Lord, uh, would have done it for us, man. You know, if we never would have went off as bad as we did, you know, because, um, think about it, man. You know, it's back in 70 AD, man. You know, if we, we were obeying the Lord, you know, the Rome, the Romans would never seized us the way they did, man, because we would have had the Lord behind us to help us, man. All right. But, um, just to jump up straight up to, Verse 15, it says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall fall, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You know, so it says, uh, if thou wilt not hearken, you know, and you think about it, um, we, we disobeyed the Lord, you know, back then, you know, we we didn't hearken and listen to the voice of the Lord, you know, to observe, to do all his commandments and statutes, his laws. You know, we went off, man, and we were keep going off, man. So this is what happened to us. You know, this is a, this doing between the eight, you know, just shows you, you know, who the Israelites are, man. You know, and basically, you know, it, these curses match what we go through to, the, to, to this day, man, you know, in this day and this now current or era you know these curses are put upon so-called blacks latinos and native americans man you know so it says um that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee it says verse 16 cursed shalt thou, shalt thou be in the city and cursed shalt thou be in the field you know so in the city we, we're cursed man you know and in, in the workplace where we live you know, we live in the ghettos and stuff like that as a people. You know, our people live in the ghettos, man. You know, and uh, we've been cursed, man. All right. Verse 19, it says, Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do. Until thou be destroyed, and thou, uh, until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. You know, so curse shall, you know, shall we be when we come in, when we go out, man. You know, the Lord has sent cursing, vexation, and rebuke upon us, man, as a whole, and the peop as a people in whole, you know, upon his people, Israel, man, you know. Until we have been destroyed, and as a people, we have been destroyed, man. You know, look at us now. You know, we go going the deepest parts of the ghettos, and you can see our people all over the place, man. It's just down bad, horrible. You know, and it's just like, damn, this is how our people look, man. And these other nations look at it as a, a laughing stock, a mockery, man. You know, 
And that's because of our wickedness, the things that we have done, man. You know, like I said, man, we, we're cursed as a people, and, you know, we're destroyed as a people, man. Jake is all over the place. You know, they know nothing of the Lord, nor neither do they consider, man. They still go off, man, to this day. It says, out uh, verse 21, the Lord shall make the pestilent cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from all the land, whether thou goest to possess it, you know. But when you think about it, man, it's like all the hell that we've been through, you know what I'm saying, all, all the curses, the, the sicknesses, the illness, the captivity we, we, we went through, you know, you would think Jake would want to, like, consider and research, you know, why this happened to us as a people, you know. But like I said, they do not consider. It says, uh, the Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land, whether, whether thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and, and with a fever and with an inflammation and with this extreme burning and with the sword and with the blasting and with mildew and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. And it says, and thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass and the earth that is under shall be uh, under thee shall be iron. You know, so the Lord has sent a consumption of fever, you know, a, a, a bad pestilence upon his people, man. You know, especially back in the, in, in the ancient days, in ancient times, man, when we was in Jerusalem. You know, it was many pestilence. Our people were getting plagued, man. You know, when we lost, when we, when we was, when Jerusalem was getting sieged, man, our people was getting plagued, man. But it says, and thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thy under thee shall be iron, you know, talking about going into these prison systems, man, you know, our people always in the, the prison cell, you know, catching, catching hell, man, you know, uh, little kids, man, going to the prison cells, you know, for stealing the damn candy out the store, you know, that's just, this is all literally upon Jake as a people, man, a curse upon Jake as a people. You know, so it is the littlest thing you can do. You got that racist ass Edomite cop that come and take your ass to jail and nobody can save you, man. You know, nobody can do nothing about it. You just sitting there and you, until, what, 30 years in prison or some shit, man. Verse 24, it says, The Lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust from heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go in one way against them, and flee seven ways before them, and shalt be removed unto into all the kingdoms of the earth, and thy carcass shall be meat unto the all the all fowls of the air, and unto the beasts of the earth, and no man shall fray them away. You know, so the Lord has caused um Cause us to be smitten before our enemies, man. You know, when we used to go out into wars and fight, you know, the Lord wasn't really on our side anymore after we disobeyed him, man. So when we would go against him one way, we always flee seven ways, you know, in nakedness and in fear, you know, because we, we were losing, man. You know, we would retreat, you know, so our people would run several ways, you know, and seven means completion. So really, we was just trying to get the fuck out of there, man. <laughs> You know, as a retreat, he's trying to get out of there. It says, and shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And there you go. It tells you, shows you another thing, man. You know, our people are spread around the whole earth, man. Israelites are spread around the whole earth, the four corners of the earth. You know, he's removed into all the kingdoms, you know. So, uh, from different backgrounds, you know, how we got there. But it says, verse 26, And thy carcass shall be meat for the, unto all fowls of the earth, air, and unto the beast of the earth, and no man shall fire them away. You know, so, the, uh, when, when uh, our carcass will be left outside after the after war, man, you know, as meat for the fowls, man. No one will fray them away, get them up, you know what I'm saying? Because after that war, you know, you see bodies still on the floor, man. And 
dead, lifeless. And there was no, uh, nobody to, to give him a proper burial, you know, as some say, or any of that, man. It's just the, the beast of the earth, the fowls, would just eat your body away, you know, until it's gone. All right. It says, uh, verse 28, the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. All right. You know, and the Lord has uh, smite our people, you know, with madness, and, you know, the blindness and the astonishment of heart, you know, of the mind. You know, and our people are blind. They're mad. You know, they're, they're going crazy. You know, all, they, all they're into is folly nowadays, man, and wickedness. It says, and thou shalt grope at noonday and as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not pro prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. All right, so we shall be, you know, oppressed and spoiled evermore. You know, us as a people, you know, we were spoiled, man, out of all our goods, out of all the things we had, man. Israel had land, man. You know, that's what they won't tell you in the history books at the schools, man. That Israel, Israel, us as a people, we were we were striving, man, before we disobeyed the Lord, man. We were striving. We was doing. Good things, man, but until we disobeyed the Lord and, you know, we were spoiled, you know, for our goods, our riches, our land, all that was spoiled. And then we became oppressed, man, into captivity. You know, it says, and no man shall save thee. It says, thou shalt betroth a wife and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build, build a house and thou shalt not build the well therein. You know, thou shalt plant a vineyard and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. You know, so it says, Thou shalt betroth a wife, man, and another man shall lie with her, man. So even the fact that you get cheated on, you know, a lot of men get cheated on, that's a curse also, man. You know, you always see, you know, it's like men losing their woman, you know, because that woman is being a whore, you know, a harlot, just sleeping around with the, the whole earth, man. You know, the whole city. You know, the whole city know your woman, man. She's well known around the whole the whole neighborhood. You know, it's just that's a curse, man. When we think about it, that's that that's that's a curse, man. You know, that the Lord uh put on us also. You know. And then honestly, you know, it's like we feel this the same uh <laughs> the same way the Lord felt, man. You know, when we disobeyed him, man. You know, when we disobeyed him, the Lord felt like, you know, we went on to other gods and shit. You know, the Lord was like, damn, man, you know. That's fucked up, you know, and he, he didn't like it. So now when our woman do it, you know, we feel that same, that same way, you know, it's just like, damn, you really heard about it, man. You thinking about it, it's like, damn, this bitch really just cheating on me, bro. Well, my homeboy, bro, that shit ain't right, man. You know what I'm saying? You just really thinking about it. But, um, yeah, I'm, uh. Verse 32 says, Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. All right. So, like, you know, back in captivity, you know, I bring it back up. But our sons and our daughters, you know, were, were given unto another people, another, um, these damn. Edomites, man, you know, for to say, you know, back in slavery, you had some slave masters, man, you know, that they would sell our children away and we would not, all we could do was just cry, man, you know, you know, cry all the day long because we know we're not going to see those kids again for a long, very, very long time, man, not, not knowing, you know, what's happening to your children or anything, you know, they're just gone. And you can't do nothing about it. And that was also a curse, man. You know, a lot of these curses, you know, you know, you you don't you don't see this matching no damn East, Esau man, no Edomite. You don't see that these curses matching them, man. All these curses are matching the so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, because these curses curses match us because we're the Israelites, man. You know, this is this is right here is talking about the Israelites. This whole chapter is talking about the Israelites. Curses that the Lord appeared upon the Israelites for disobeying him. It says, The fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation that 
thou knowest not eat up, thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed, you know. So when Esau came through, you know, he 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 spoiled us, man. So the fruit of our land and all our labors, you know, that that nation eat up, man. You know. That, that, that nation come came and spoiled us, man, you know, took took all our shit, took our land, everything, man. You know, and and, and it oppressed us. Alright. It says, uh, so that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thy thy eye which thou shalt see. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs with the sore botch that cannot be healed from the sole of thy foot to the top of thy head. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither nor thou nor thy fathers have known. And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. All right. The Lord said he's going to bring you to uh, you and, and you know, us, as, and us and our king, like you, <laughs> unto another nation which we have not known, you know, nor, nor, nor our fathers. You know, and we're going to serve other gods with wooden stone. You know, just look at our people now, man. You know, they got that wooden cross on their neck. You know, they got their um, praising that damn Caesar Borgia, that JC statue and shit, man. But it says, um, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword unto all nations. Rather, the Lord shall lead thee, you know, so we became a proverb, you know, and a byword, you know, to these other nations like the uh, nigger or nigger. And, you know, it, it's so dumb because our own people, you know, changed that word around. You know, they start calling each other niggas, man. That's how you know you destroy the fuck, uh, uh people, man. When they start, <laughs> when they start uh, being wil willfully, willfully, uh, Doing shit they they, they, they they hate it when they was in captivity, man. You know, when you get called a nigger back then, it's like, damn, man, you know, you got called out the whole time, your whole life, while those people were over you. You know, while Esau was whooping your ass, all you hear is nigger and shit. But now our people just use it with, with all the joy in the world, man. You know, and without knowing the real meaning of nigger, it means ignorant, man. You know, you got our own people with, like, oh, oh, I'm a real nigga, or nigga this and nigga that. You know, you really just calling yourself ignorant and the person you're talking to ignorant, man. And it just shows you how ignorant you are because you don't know that, man. <laughs> but it says, um, let's see. I'm trying to listen up. I'm trying to hurry up and get through it. You know, not take too long on this. It says, verse 41, thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. For they shall go into captivity, you know. So, so uh, thou shalt beget sons and daughters, man. You know when we had got sons and daughters, we wasn't we're not able to enjoy it, and we wasn't able to enjoy them, man, because they was already sold into captivity, you know, in the cotton fields, right? When they was able to walk, man, you know. They sell they sell sell uh, using our baby as alligator bait, man. You know, the, the, all these type of things are these people done into us, man. It's just, it's disgusting, man. It's, it, it, it's disgusting. It says, um, it says, uh, verse 43, the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the toe, you know. So that stranger Esau, you know, he that that was with within us, you know what I'm saying, shall be he became very high, man, and we became very low, you know. And that base man was able to become get into rulership, man. You know. And we were rich in the spirit, you know, us being rich, you know, we came we became poor, man, but rich in the spirit, man, you know. Really, we're rich, man. We're rich people, you know. We have land. We have things behind us that make us rich, man. But right now, you know, we're catching this hell. We 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 have these curses upon us. You know, we're poor as a people 
verse 45 says, Moreover, these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee, overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord to keep his commandments and his statutes, and he can which he command, commanded thee. All right. Let's see. I'm going to get a... Uh, verse 48. It says, Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which thou shalt sin against thee, which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron around thy neck until thou have, till he have destroyed thee, you know these people, you saw, you know, we came and came unto them, you know, hunger and thirst and nakedness and one of all things, man. And this man put a yoke of iron around our necks, man, an actual yoke of iron, you know. And once he took it off, you know, us as a people were still destroyed, man. You know, a lot of a lot of our people still worship the white man and shit, man. They're still destroyed, man. As a people, you know, because they have that yoke of iron around their neck for so long, you know, they're blinded, you know. Now they think they're free, you know. Now they think Esau's with them, you know what I'm saying? But they're not. But it says, um, uh, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as an eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, you know, and. The Lord brought this nation of Esau, you know, up from nothing, man. <laughs> from, the, from the mountains of, the, of carcasses, man. You know, and he he was as swift as an eagle flieth, man. You know, Esau was real swift with it, man, when they overtook us, man. All right, it says that he shall be the head and we shall be the tail, man. You know, it, it got so bad, you know, where, you know, now we, we go into them for things, man. We need things from them, you know. Give you, you know, our people getting government assistance and shit. You know, our people being in debt and not being able to pay these people back. You know, Esau has back because he has no money, man. You know, we're in debt to these people. We, uh, he has to lend to us, but we can't lend back and give back because, you know, we're, as, we're a poor people. In verse 50, it says, A nation of fierce continents which shall not regard the person of old, nor sure favor to the young. All right, so this is a nation of fierce continents, man. You know, he, he, he didn't show no regard for the people, the person of old, man. You know, our old, our old man, you know, in slavery, you know, they, they was working in those cotton fields until they fell over and died, man. Oh, the old people, man. And the young were in the cotton fields as when they was able to walk, man, you know, and like I said earlier, man, they was feeding our babies in, as alligator bait, man, to catch alligators, you know, but it says, um, it says verse 54, so that the man that is tended among you, very, uh, Actually, let me see. Oh, God, verse 54 says, So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward his wife of, of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. All right, so the man that was very tender, you know, it was like, man, that was very tender, you know, and delicate and nice and kind. You know, his eyes evil toward his brother, man. You know, that's why he got black on black crime and shit like that. You know, and, and gang violence with mainly our people in it just killing each other, man. Because that delicate that delicate man, you know, tender and delicate man, you know, he, he became evil, man. You know, that's also a curse, man. Brothers killing each other in a junk, man. It says, and toward the wife of his boss, and toward the remnant. Of his children, which he shall leave, man. That's why he always got, you know, with these, um, these Israelite parents, man. You know, they never really have a father because their father has left, man. You know, that's a curse. There's another curse, man. Another big curse, you know, that, that, that matches, you know, us as a people. All right. It says, um, 
verse 56, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not venture to set sole of her foot upon the ground for delicate, delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. And these, these, it's like women, man, you know, nowadays, you know, they have a evil countenance to them, man. You know, they, they don't, their, their tenderness and delicateness, you know, it's not there anymore, man. You know, her eyes turn evil to, toward her husband, especially her husband, man. You know, she put her husband through hell with them kids, man. Got your own child support. And if, and if she don't want the baby, you know what I'm saying? You want the baby, she can go get it aborted. You know what I'm saying? She make you pay and give you all hell, you know, pay for her, her all her kids and give you all hell and shit, man. Like that one TikTok video, you know, is the man, it, it was very, it was trending just recently. But the man, he bought, he came back home and he brought his son to McDonald's and the other kids, he didn't buy it. the other kids to McDonald's because that's not his children, man. But the woman were getting, was getting all mad and she was like, why can't you buy all the McDonald's? He's like, that's not my kids, man. You know, you had eight eight more kids with different daddies, you know, all these different daddies, you know, get them to buy your, their kids some food. Why should I take care of other kids, man? She was giving this man hell, man. You know, and this is like, that's how it is nowadays, man. It says, um, it says, uh, Verse 58, if thou wilt not observe to do all the law, the words of this law that were, are written in this book, that thou mayest fear the, this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues and long continuance and sore sicknesses and long and of long continuance. All right. Let me see. It says also, damn, verse 61. And also every sickness and every plague, which is not written of this book of law, of this law, in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed, man. So us as a people, man, the Lord has been cursing us bad, man, because of what we did. You know? So the Lord, <laughs> damn, man. It says, and ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the, the the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord. Oh my gosh, man. The voice of the Lord thy God. All right. And this shows you again, man. You know, we was left as few, you know, because we were many, man. We were a strong nation. It was many of us, man. Multitude. Strong multitude, man. But, you know, we decreased in number. Because that's that's another curse, man. All right. But, uh, it says verse sixty four, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even to the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Even wood and stone, you know, like I say, you know, that just shows you our people have been scattered among all nations, man. Many nations, man. You know, and we've been serving other gods ever since, man, as a people. It says, uh, damn. It says, uh, among these nations shalt thou find no ease. So, when all the, no, no matter where Jake is, man, he's still upon these curses. You know, it don't matter if he in China. You know, all these other nations, you, you still ain't going to be able to find ease, man. You know, peace of mind, you know. You still going to be under these curses. It says, Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. You know, so even among all these other nations, man, we have no ease, man. You know, we still have to get our ass beat, wake up every day just to survive and work for these damn devils, man. No matter where you're at, man. You know? Even if you're, uh, what? A so-called rich or famous, you know, you still are under... You still got to go into the white man, you know, for your for your money, food, all these other things, you know. And he go, you know, 
he still gonna show you that 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 evil eye, man. <laughs> you know, you still gonna be under those curses, man. Think about with Kanye, you know, his woman. You know, that 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 whore Kim Kardashian, man, still left him, man. Still cheated on him, man. Alright. It says, um, uh, let's just jump down to verse 68. It says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond woman, and no man shall buy you. All right. It says, So the Lord, you know, will bring us into Egypt again with ships, man. And Egypt meaning, meaning bondage, man. You know, with ships, you know, how did we get here to America, man? In slave ships. It says, By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies as, you know, bond men and bond women. You know, a slave man, a slave woman. And no man shall be able to save you from that, man. You know, when you have that slave trade, man, you know, <laughs> you get off them ships and go straight to the slave trade. You know, people auction, we was getting auction in, in auction blocks, you know, to other masters and shit like that, man. Other slave masters and shit, you know. And no man was able to save us from it. So you have to go through that, that hard court bondage and captivity, you know. But uh, that's all I want to get on that, you know. It was, uh, I hope it wasn't that, that long. But I hope I was edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, 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 Shabbat